Hi, welcome to the Lines Between, Between the, stars the Stars podcast. I'm Sam. I'm Samri. And yeah, we're going to be talking about dating as an Asian. And to start off with, Samri's going to talk about Confucianism. Okay. So before we start, Sam is an Asian man and I'm a black woman. Yep. Don't dox me because I'm not an Asian woman. <laughs> Talking about Asians. <laughs> well, you have, it's it's kind of like having the outsider's perspective on it and mm-hmm. then have like an inside perspective on the whole situation. I wanted to discuss Confucianism. Confucianism, I believe, is, you know, what is driving the culture in Asian families and what ultimately, I believe, drives Asian women to date out more than Asian men. Um, so Confucianism is comes from China, from the 5th century BCE, and it focuses on filial piety, which means that you're supposed to be dedicated to your parents, serving them, obeying everything they yeah. say, which translates to Asian women being you know like they would have to listen to whatever their parents want them to do um it's also a lot of it has to do with just worshiping your ancestor piety is like your work is kind of like your religious worship so instead of like worshiping a god your ancestors are who you worship yeah so that's that is the definition of filial piety so instead of being like okay i worship this entity it's more like my ancestors are worshiped like we worshiped our ancestors and the fact that you know like as long as the bloodline continues I, e- even after my death i will be worshiped as well like you are part of the family when you are part of the family um you end up being worshiped as well so one thing that i keep noticing in my research about confucianism is mm-hmm. that males are valued more than women because it talks about like you know the functional importance of all women in traditional china they in their reproductive role and in a patriarchal and authoritarian society this reproductive function took the form of reproducing male descendants because in the family tree the branch yeah, is look, made by the son not all the I daughter know, all i know is that when i saw mulan there was also a female spirit in the family i'm talking about and i'm not talking about the live action Mulan. i'm talking about the cartoon Mulan. oh really yeah yeah they had a female yeah okay. i'm pretty sure they had a female i'm pretty sure it's been a while since i've watched mulan i think i'm right don't don't fact check me please <laughs> so marriage is arranged by the parents in the interest of continuity by bearing male children and running an efficient household in mind so basically what i'm trying to say is you know because of all this requirement that is set for the women in asian societies there's little benefit to them to stay within the culture but then if they move to the west and marry western men who are are, you know white usually they would be able to not have to for instance serve their mother-in-law or you know live with their in-laws because oh, yeah. like, that would that would like be yeah really like annoying. all like from what i can t- i see online it's always stories uh usually like i read stories on uh r slash asian hor- asian parent horror stories or something like that mm-hmm. um so the whole th- the the major thing is that Asian women say, "Man, it is nice not dating an Asian guy because I don't have to deal with the second pair of Asian parents." Because they've already they already know how oppressive it is to live. Yeah, you you already know how oppressive it is to live in an Asian household where like, you know, you it's pretty rough a lot of times we aren't shown the same amount of like affection let's say like we aren't shown like the same i mean depends on the family of course not all asian families are the same same. but like you know like having someone like praise you for doing a good job at school Mm -hmm. or something like that because in an asian household that's just expected you know you're expected to get an a 
Yeah, it's like you're expected to get like a good grade rather than like, oh, good job on getting the grade. It's more like there's no participation trophies. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Asian family, that does not exist in Asian families. We're just told you're a winner or you're a loser, pretty much. You, you succeeded, <laughs> you, you succeeded or you failed. And then also, yeah, and there's emphasis, ends up being like emphasis on uh, like appearance as well. Asians, for example, mm. uh, we aren't usually fat but if you are fat well good luck because your parents are going to criticize you on being slightly overweight <laughs> you need to stop eating and it's like overly paranoid about, about calories like calories and gaining weight right the now. latest diet so there there we are considered a model minority like we get good mm -hmm. grades you know we're always the good kids but that's because it's been beat into us by our parents we are scared of going against authority for the most part because we if we were to go up against like our parents mm -hmm. we'd probably get beat or like punished pretty severely hmm. you know there's this concept of saving face yeah, i yeah. believe that's in the asian community yeah that is another thing in the asian community it's uh, it's the idea where you return kindness like a hundredfold like if mm -hmm. you're given kindness you have to return it like but even more and then uh also like you know like shame like you return shame like even more as well oh really yeah that, i mean that's what for that's uh Wait, how does that play out in real life in real life, I'm honestly not sure, but I know from my like, reading Chinese fiction, it's like man protagonists in Chinese fiction, if something bad happens to them, they return the favor like a hundredfold. Like, oh, you you mild, mildly insulted me? I must now kill your family. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. So you gotta be on your toes. Like, you need to know, okay, I shouldn't offend anyone because yeah, they yeah. might be coming to kill kill me yeah if i right. offend someone because i yeah. didn't like and then you also have to look really good because it makes your family look good and mm. that's kind of the reason why reputation like, is yeah. important yeah reputation is important and then like you know growing up like mm -hmm. i was always the good kid that you know like other people's parents would say like my friend's parents would be like why can't you be like sam Aww. you know because like yeah. i was so well be you know i was well behaved there is the whole thing of uh you know like i remember my parents before I would go to a friend's house they'd be like okay this is how you need to act oh really <laughs> yeah oh my gosh that's a lot of pressure on a kid yeah but then I would do it and I'd be like oh man these parents like me oh. <laughs> so you you knew how, you understood how to make an impression yeah from an early age yeah pretty much that's interesting okay saving face I didn't know about the whole like shame yeah I knew about okay you have to look good constantly you need to appear well put together like you shouldn't put all your business in the mm -hmm. streets kind of thing which which tends to be the same in i believe in all cultures mm -hmm. it's just to the degree of you know like trying to save face is different in different cultures but yeah. then perhaps like, an asian saving um, face can also mean like being the bigger man and not punching a person out or something like that like oh. staying calm under pressure mm -hmm. is considered like you know like saving face right and like mm. lashing out at someone else is can be like you know i think depending on the culture can be seen as like not being saving face because you gave you gave in to the provocations oh, okay. okay right so that that is also related to bullying because you were telling me how you wanted to lash out but you had to keep it together yeah that yeah. might be because of the whole saving face thing and yeah. like okay so let's move on from confucianism and move on to the dating market asian or, men because yeah. this is the this is i have the most experience as an asian man yeah um and we're looking at the article by sage pub and uh they they wrote a good article um in 2018 about that's after the crazy rich asians came out and then after that they wrote an article about how all the different history of 
you know, like how the Chinese came to build the railroads and mm-hmm. they couldn't bring over their wives yeah. or girlfriends. I will, I will, I will mention, man, I love crazy rich Asians. To just, just as a comment, I would say I did not know that I wanted an Asian, Asian exploitation movie. You know, you know how there's like black exploitation films, right? Yeah. I did not know that I needed an Asian exploitation movie in my life. Yeah, I mean, and there needed to be, it was, there was a vacuum mm-hmm. for Asian, like, American movies. Yeah, and, like, it needed, yeah, because for sure, it needed to, uh, it showed Asians overall in a pretty good light, you know? I mean, like, 100% of the cast was Asian, so there's that, right? Yeah, but that's, like, yeah. That's super nice, uh, yeah. especially uh, uh, especially just kind of like how Asians in general are depicted in media. You also really enjoy watching the um, Kim's convenience, convenience, Kim's convenience Kim's store. Convenience. Yeah, uh, Kim's convenience store is also another good one because uh, it depicts the life of an Asian immigrant family, not Asian American, more Asian Canadian, but they're still yeah. like overlapping with each other. That like yeah, yeah. you know you can really you wouldn't really know with. it's a Canadian until they you know like they say about or like yeah out yeah <laughs> or mention them. tim hortons <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh let's see but yeah it's it's different because you know i grew up watching a lot of like chinese kung fu movies or even like korean shows or japanese shows mm. but those weren't exactly my experience right so k-drama you don't identify with the male characters no i don't identify at all with those characters because mm-hmm. they live they lived a different life they lived in different in a different country for the most part right mm-hmm. and that that ha- and even like even when like as an Asian American, mm-hmm. the general consensus with Asian Americans when we go to our home countries mm-hmm. is that we're different. They know you're different. Yeah, and they, they people tell. know we're different, right? They can smell it. They can it smell it. <laughs> they can smell it. They sense it. There's an aura. We have the American or like you know like we have foreigner aura around us. Interesting. You know, and it's like it comes down to even like just like the way we dress the mm-hmm. way we carry ourselves maybe the yeah. way we talk yeah you know there's something about us American. <laughs> that like people know that we are foreigners yeah. heck even if you are from the country but like lived in america too mm-hmm. long you get that as well my yeah. parents even mentioned to me that like man they see us as foreign <laughs> like every time they go to vietnam like they're seen as like foreigners even though they grew up in vietnam to go back on the media the me- hollywood media doesn't portray asian men in a good light or even i'd say i still don't like the portrayal of agents in general asian women asian mm-hmm. women too right because why what why is that like, i mean one one thing is they they get labeled as like the exotic beauty and mm-hmm. that's about it you know you don't get bad like negative portrayals of you know like you don't get like the silly character as being mm-hmm. an asian woman you know you don't get the femme fatale i mean i guess you you might get a femme fatale asian woman you know yeah but mostly asian women are like depicted for their exotic beauty and and still like even like even with asian female asian roles like it's not usually it's still like very little roles for asian women as well yeah in general Um, there i don't really i can't say any names because like like, there's for example um like Ghost in the Shell, which is mm-hmm. a depict, which is an adaptation of a Japanese manga, mm-hmm. where um, the main character Makoto Kusanagi is played by Scarlett mm-hmm. Johansson. Yeah, you know, yeah. and there is a, mo- a movie about uh, Chun Li, who is like a video game character in oh. the Street Fighter series, okay. and she is a Chinese woman, right? Oh yeah, one hundred percent Chinese, but is played by like a half American, half, ha- half American, like oh, half okay. Dutch, half. Chinese person, mm, you know? Mm-hmm. So like she we don't even get the full like Jap you know, we full don't Asian. we don't get the full Asian in there. Mm. And then for like guys, we're usually depicted as, you know, like 
if it's like an Asian American character, and we're usually maybe like a little chubby, we're geeky, not mm -hmm. very attractive. Um, these actually in the series uh, Big Bang Theory, mm -hmm. which is like a show about like nerd culture. Yeah. Um, there's an Indian guy. There's an Indian guy. Mm -hmm. He's the only character that does not get a love interest by the end of the series. He does not date the whole series. Whole series. Do you know Out how many all the seasons? seasons? I'm not sure how many seasons, but I know there's a lot of there's seasons. There's a lot, yeah. There's a lot of seasons. Even the awkward uh even I the awkward even, even the awkward like other white guys. Yeah, the because they're all like they're all white except yeah. for him. But like all the other white guys. Yeah. Even they're like scumbags. Yeah, he's they're like scumbags. scumbag. All of them are scumbags. They're all like misogynistic and yeah. the Indian guy is the least misogynistic of them all yeah, he seems but he doesn't nice. but he doesn't get any he doesn't get any action is he like he, in software or something no I, I don't know but like I think he is from what I can see he's like the most effeminate of the group right like oh. he gets mentioned it's like oh like uh, here's the here's like he like does cleaning or he does like cook he does like chores, you okay. know, and then like they like his other characters make fun of him like, oh, you're not a man, you know, like oh. you're not manly enough, you know. Okay, so it's like it it is the stereotype. It is the it? stereotype like, that we get depicted as where they're still doing it. Yeah, they're still like they're mm -hmm. still doing it in the new spider-man movie like the friend is like you know a chubby nerdy asian kid right i didn't watch it but yeah okay that's i haven't watched it either but i've seen like previews and i've seen that but yeah like it's it's like none of like other than that asian men were either like shown as either like that you know nerdy or like we are like there the stoic is, types there know? is one show i want you to watch it's on netflix it's called um carbon something carbon, Altered carbon? yeah yeah Altered carbon yeah yeah, yeah. And yeah. the main character is a hot Asian guy okay. who's in love with a black woman. All right, all right. And he's really cool. Like, there's a lot of fight scenes mm -hmm. where he, like, uses swords to, like, kill all these yeah. robots or something. Is he good at kung fu? Uh, I'm not sure if it's kung fu. Or just, like, martial arts, like, like hand-hand hand super... combat, you know, like, swords. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah like that's another thing too we either have to be good at kung fu you know oh we okay. also have to be good at kung fu or like we gotta be like i mean like it is <clears throat> not like called a specific kind yeah. of martial arts but you know he's it's, good it's, at some it's, kind, it's, something. it's 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 kind of because like uh alter carbon is like cyberpunk and that is another thing that happens to cyberpunk you get like the kung fu people you get like kung fu like cyberpunk yeah it's a genre it's the genre oh, okay you know it's the genre of science fiction that our altered carbon takes place in it's like tends to be grittier you know yeah it is really gritty yeah because yeah. like his sister was adopted by a samurai or mm -hmm. the yakuza yeah and it's in the future but like yeah. i guess they still have yakuza's yeah and uh like she's really good with martial arts mm -hmm. too so yeah like we have to be like gonna quote accented cinema which is like um they ha he has like a video on like uh, asians depicted in media and but it's just um he mentions yeah like we tend to be like need to be either like have like japanese stoicism you know mm -hmm. Or like Mongolian brutality. Other than that, it's like yeah, we also either that or we're played by a white person. So there's different archetypes. Yeah. So whatever, it's just not recently within like the last three years to two years that mm -hmm. we're seeing the quirky or like the hot Asian, and yeah. he doesn't have, he's not into martial arts. Yeah. Or he's. He's not like super, I don't know. I mean, and, he's not white, yeah. right? He's super like... Yeah. We don't get the stud Asian, we don't get the stud Asian. We don't get a pl Asian character mm -hmm. who's a player. Oh, okay. You know? Like, Wait, is, is this Crazy Rich Asian guy, is he a player? Uh, I think there is probably one, at least one player character in Crazy Rich Asians. But in media, I mean, Crazy Rich Asians is the outlier. Right? Yeah, yeah. In general, you don't get the Asian who sleeps, the Asian guy who sleeps around and like gets. Kim's convenience, the main. Yeah, the main the character. Guy, but that's not player. even Hollywood. That's not even yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. That's Canadian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. But that's like two. Those are like that. Those are like. The those only are two we can think that, of. Those are the only two we can think of. Unless the altered carbon counts, but yeah. it doesn't, I guess. Well, yeah, I mean, like, it's like compared to like all media, like, usually 
like if Hollywood has the option to not cast an Asian guy, they'll not cast an Asian guy if they have the choice, mm -hmm. right? They'll give it to a white guy. They'll give it to a white guy or a black guy, you know, or the yeah, black yeah, guy, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, so in Altered Carbon, the whole point is that their spirit is like you have a chip in your back and mm -hmm. then it records everything you see. Mm -hmm. And the chip originally belonged to an Asian guy, a Japanese guy. And then it moves to a black guy's body. Well, okay, <laughs> so it moves to a white guy's body. See, they go like, <laughs> oh man, we don't even need to get an Asian guy if we can do this. Because like, his body <laughs> dies, it gets killed, and then it moves. they move it to a white guy. Of course. So you get to of course, see the white, see? We get white guy. We get whitewashed. <laughs> and then it goes to a black guy, and you're like, like oh okay and it's and then and then it goes back to and then he fights with his asian self <laughs> it's it's really interesting yeah. you should watch it but okay. like but yeah it, it i guess it shows all the different tropes and like yeah heck even in star trek which is the most woke show ever like harry mm. kim doesn't get anything That's harry true. kim is like you know he doesn't get that many manly moments he's shown yeah. to be more sensitive yeah i mean he he does get women who are interested in him but they're like genetically predispositioned to do that yeah they <laughs> like know? eat him or something they I don't try know to devout they, they try to like his life force out something yeah. like that but yeah it's like in that case it's like it's usually if carrie kim gets a girl and people are like what is What's, what's what's gonna happen? What's that? What's gonna happen? What's the end game here? What's... Something sad will happen. Harry Kim doesn't even get promoted during the entire show. <laughs> yeah, there was there was an episode where he was like, "Wait, how come I haven't been promoted in more than five years or something?" And then they just kind of brush it off. Yeah, <laughs> but but at least they like brought it up. Tom Paris proceeds to get promoted yeah demoted and then re-promoted again yeah, <laughs> in the like, span of the seven he seasons he keeps messing <laughs> up on purpose yeah like he wants to get fired but they still manage to promote him uh we love star trek though we do. there's that whole thing where asians like continue on the topic here what we're getting at is that the media doesn't portray asian guys in a po very positive light mm -hmm. which leads to asian guys just not appearing as sexy yeah like, if we go to, like k cupid did a study in 2015 mm -hmm. where they said the most least desirable like racial uh, gender groups were asian men and black women yeah and that the in a lot of it that a lot of it actually tend, does tend to do with like media right like, yeah yeah me black women in media tend mm -hmm. to be like like kind of like the tougher yeah like, aggressive t aggressive tougher woman, yeah which i think is hot personally you know i think that is hot you know and people have bad taste if they don't find that hot in their i mean because like even if Okay, so like in a relationship, mm -hmm. I feel like you can't be in polar opposites. Yeah. You need to have a way to like be in the middle, mm -hmm. even if a black woman is aggressive or I strong. I mean, I think right. I mean, there is there's different ways to do that because you know, like I get described as being kind of more sensitive, you know, mm -hmm. right? Like I don't, I'm not like compl I wouldn't call myself like the embodiment of masculinity by like by normal standards mm -hmm. right masculinity is what i make it out to be yeah which means like if i am a loving like husband i'm, well, I'm a loving husband mm -hmm. and you know i show love and i like can confidently wear the color pink mm -hmm. like that makes uh, that makes me manly as right yeah yeah if a woman can be if a woman can be like strong like strong mm -hmm. and, you know the strong so you don't think and, it takes away from a woman's no. femininity if she's strong not at all that's i mean like that that's i have a i have more of like a neutral definition of gender roles mm -hmm. you know i think it is what like i think a boy a boy can like a print like you know like princesses the color pink and unicorns mm -hmm. and that's manly i will say man i think toxic man masculinity like mm -hmm. people who are super toxic their masculinity is built on such a fragile mm -hmm. like foundation 
Yeah. That the, th- the slightest thing that makes them feel less masculine and mm. tips it over, that in itself is not manly at all. Yeah, it, it is a, a weak position. Makeup every day, like, mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh gosh. Like, one good thing that comes, that came out of the whole wearing face masks mm-hmm. from the pandemic is that I don't have to wear makeup like yeah most of, like three-fourths of my face is covered yeah so i just have to like dab something on, on my your forehead. forehead or maybe do some like eye something with your eye you know like yeah some eyeshadow or something like that yeah but yeah like you don't have to do as much anymore. yeah and then no like lipstick or like yeah. anything like that because like most of it is like under your eyes Mm-hmm. Like you need to like wear a lot of makeup, but the face mask covers like part of your neck and like everything. That's on your gonna nose be that's and... the thing that I will like now appreciate that now masks are a part of American culture. Yeah, and at least where we live, like yeah, yeah, we like even after COVID's gone, like I'll probably be able to like wear a mask out in public, right? We live in the greater Seattle area. Yeah, so like you know we're gonna like we can just like probably wear a mask to the grocery store and then yeah. people won't give us weird looks Before, i mean i wonder though like yeah. what if everyone gets vaccinated yeah. in like two years do you think we could well still... at the very least i'm asian so if i mm. wear a mask that's fine because yeah. they like you know it's kind of like when you see asians wear a mask they're it's like, normal it's normal yeah the studies that the article points out it talks about adolescence 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 <laughs> You can't, I don't the know you can't say the word. I wrote it down in in uh, Giz, which is the writing system in from Amharic, like uh, Ethiopia. Yeah, and then you're like still can't like, pronounce still the word. Adolescence. <laughs> Adolescence. Uh, Adolescence. Okay, so there's a difference between. Oh, there's a difference between. Uh, like Asians d- dating during adolescence and then like in adulthood. Young adulthood, yeah. Yeah, young adulthood. Um, so in our teenage years, uh, both men and women in their teenage years do not get any action. Both Asian men and yeah. Asian women. Yeah. Because uh, black men and black women during their teenage years, they get it in. But for Asians like and this has to do with Asian culture like we are made to like just focus on school if we are caught even looking at the other gender our parents will be like what are you doing you know Mm. like we will be put under scrutiny and like criticized right because we're like they're like we're taught to get really good grades and they're just like what are you doing Mm -hmm. you're not getting like this is a distraction you know yeah anything that takes away from studies is yeah and we seen seen as a distraction um and overall like if we are to date we'd have to do it in secret Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. like we have to keep it outside of uh like the knowledge of our parents and that's hard when you live with your parents as yeah. a teenager right yeah. if you're living you're as a, if you're a teenager you're most likely living at home with your parents of course and which makes hiding relationships really difficult mm-hmm. especially during my time when we didn't have personal phones we had a we just had the normal family phone you know oh. and so like you know if you're talking on the phone for a little bit too long with the person yeah like, and you can like pick up a another phone yeah you can pick up another phone in the same house and listen in you know (laughs) so it's like it's that shit's hard yeah yeah and then like you know like not everyone was on online chat groups at the time too right that was a lot less prevalent during my time it was it was starting attraction but it was less it was definitely not as much until now and back then, you know, we still had dial-up. So, mm. like, if you were on the internet, it took up the phone line. Mm. But then, when you get to young adulthood, yeah, Asian women start dating a lot more than Asian men are. Mm-hmm. Like, Asian men dating is just, like, the same. And part of it, I'd like, I'd like to describe it as um, we don't have any game, you know? No social skills. There's no, like, ga- like, we don't understand the dating game because we barely joined in on it. Yeah, you didn't get the practice. Yeah, we didn't get the practice. And 
and since at least in America, at least in America, it's all male initiated, right? Yeah, yeah. it's mostly male initiated. So even you have to ask the girl out. You have to ask the girl yeah. out. So even for women who like, even if they didn't date as much, right? They're the ones being approached. Okay. They're the ones being approached. Yeah. So they don't necessarily need to have a better game. You know? Yeah, yeah. It it is definitely important to have the confidence, and I guess like there's also this whole thing of men needing to know how to manipulate women, like you know, cause like okay, there's YouTube channels mm -hmm. which their whole thing is like okay, they tell men how to you know um get sex from a woman really yeah. fast. There's like certain things. Oh, if you treat her this way, mm -hmm. then she'll feel I, bad or whatever. I will say that there's a difference between having sex and being in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know. So for Asian men, are they more prone to being in a relationship because they have less sex, less opportunities for sex? Yeah, I mean, like I like I mean, there are Asians who do sleep around. There are Asian. There are definitely Asians who just sleep around. Okay. I'm not like saying that. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. It's zero, you know. Yeah. But like it's definitely a thing where like we just don't have game like a lot of Asians just don't have game. And then we also have the whole like our whole topic about like the media how it makes us portrayed how we aren't viewed as attractive. And it makes it really hard to go it's it makes it really hard to date as an Asian you know, as an mm -hmm. Asian guy. Like I would have droughts on um on dating websites where I'd be right swiping for weeks and then like I wouldn't be getting like anything. no matches no matches you know yeah like I I had to like go out of my way like I don't even think yeah like I had to go out of my way to like really like try to like up up my like profile game you know mm -hmm. um with like I, the pictures you took? yeah with like pictures i took you know like i was like i can't have any selfies mm -hmm. and like you know white guys could have selfies no problem you know <laughs> white guys could have no selfies but me as an asian guy i can't have a selfie oh, okay you know interesting because did you like read articles about yeah it? i had to read a lot i read a lot of articles about that sort okay, of thing yeah um but yeah like it was just like a drought it was like a drought i got almost nothing and then like i think once i left once i left left tinder and okay cupid i got more i got more matches on coffee meets bagel yeah coffee meets bagel but yeah like it's uh and i also noticed i got zero white women like match like matching me <laughs> like i the my most matches were mostly like you know other asians mm -hmm. black women mm -hmm. and a couple of hispanic so like mm. you know i got all the color spectrum except for white that is an interesting because i would say okay the most desirable out of you know the women the female gender mm -hmm. is asian women and then white women yeah and then it's uh arab mm -hmm. women yeah and then hispanic women Women, and then all the way at the bottom are black women yeah. like i don't know what's what's above black women but everyone else is above black women mm -hmm. and i believe the stereotype the archetypes that black women are allowed to play in movies mm -hmm. is what makes it so that we're the least desirable mm -hmm. even though there are some men like you who are in who's into um you know the strong black woman yeah archetype mm -hmm. uh let's see another thing too is that like asian guys we tend to be like on average tend to be pr shorter than caucasian men mm -hmm. on average in my case that's not the case i'm pretty tall yeah uh but like you know like there's a lot of girls online who are like don't want to date you unless you're at least six foot tall mm. you know yeah yeah it, it is definitely like the one of the top on women's lists is you gotta be at least six feet tall yeah you know even though i i believe for like if i'm to date like give dating advice i would say don't have lists yeah. that are like physical also asian guys don't tend to grow facial hair mm -hmm. you know yeah that's like on average like it's pretty rare for an asian guy to have like a full beard and mustache mm -hmm. um you're i say that having a full beard and mustache <laughs> he, by the way he, he would say things that he <laughs> 
<laughs> he's saying he's atypical of an Asian yeah. man. But while I was dating, I didn't actually grow out my beard, like beard. You should and have. I, I think you would have gone way more, Maybe. to be honest. Okay. Like, if we're to do like an experiment, just me, and, go, me, yeah, me go on Tinder right, now, right yeah. now and just like right start right swiping at random with a beard and you know with the beard and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, different pictures, gets. different hairstyles. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Okay. <laughs> but it would be weird yeah, to like. Would. I don't want to. Do, I don't think I'd want to do that. I yeah. don't want to do that. Even as like a test, like I probably don't. Want yeah, and then Asian women, like, mm. that, you know, they get approached, you know, they can get approached. Also, like, the the traits that make Asian men unappealing tend to be appealing for Asian women, you know? The traits, like... Um, like, you know, like, being kind of, like, stoic, not, like, really lashing out in, like, society, you know? Like, oh. not being, uh, I'd say, rebellious, you know? Um, like, as guys, you know, like, the hot guy is the bad boy, you know? The bad boy who gets into trouble, you know? That's, like, mm -hmm. hot. That's hot, right? Yeah, yeah. But, Asian, but Asians were taught not to do that. Mm -hmm. But, like, in women, it means that, like, oh, they're more, like, servitude, you know? They're more likely to be servitude, oh. you know? It's more feminine, you know? Submissive. 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 You know? Yeah, it is the it is a stereotype. It is what some would call a fetish mm -hmm. that people have for Asian yellow women. Yellow fever is the term is yellow fever. Yeah, it is something that for black women, there's a sector that's trying to copy Asian women's Asian success women's, yeah. as far as like being a fetish. Yeah, I'll say that like I noticed that a lot of the black women that liked me were like black women weebs, you oh. know, like they, they, they're <laughs> really? like, yeah, pretty much like were they? I, I had I like when I see them like under likes, it's either like anime or K drama or like oh, K drama okay. stuff. I'm just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sense yeah because k drama is super like big with black women like mm -hmm. a, a sector i would say mm -hmm. not a lot though yeah but yeah that was that was the thing that i oh, noticed okay. whenever i saw black women made like you know my dating profile yeah they're like yeah okay she's a total weeb yeah i mean i am a weeb yeah you are a weeb uh <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm not ashamed of my weebness. Yeah, let's see. I don't even want, like I don't have any experience in like the gay dating scene. Mm. Uh, but like I know that like Asian guys on the, the gay dating scene also have troubles as well. You know. Yeah, and it's a good thing that this article. Yeah, they mentioned that where yeah. like Asian guys are seen as like not desirable or like not even like considered good looking. You know. I mean, they're considered more feminine in the gay. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It I depends. guess it's a bad thing. There's, there's, there's different types, you know, there's different types. There's like, you know, the feminine gay guy, but then there's also the lumberjack gay guys, you know? There's gay guys who are just like manly, they're like bears. But yeah, like, uh, I mean, was, I, I, for me, my dating scene, yeah, it was real rough and like, it really hit me like really hard. I was like, am I just not? Like, I remember going out, like, to clubs with, like, my friends. And you, mm -hmm. I have mostly white friends. Yeah. And if we were to go and, like, talk to a group of girls, I know for sure that they are talking to my white friends and not me. It must you know? be pretty depressing. Oh, yeah, it was, de it was depressing. I was like, dang, like, I'm not getting any action. Because I guess after a while you would give up? Oh, uh, no. I mean, like, I just continued dating. Like, I continued dating. And like, I did have times where I just like take a break from it for like a couple months, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I knew like, you know, if I just didn't do anything, I wouldn't get anywhere. Right? Yeah. And you know, like, I feel like that's why you were pretty, like you weren't into playing games. Yeah. You know, cause like, that's what attracted me to you. Cause you were like super serious from the jump. Yeah. And I never experienced that. So I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. So he's serious. Like for me, like I was at the point where I'm like, man, I'm so tired of like spending weeks talking to someone and then getting ghosted or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, man, I just want to like go out on a date. <laughs> yeah. Like a lot of emotional work gets goes into chatting people up yeah i'm just like look well, can we just like go out on a date and just talk and like actually meet like, each other actually face meet to face. each other face to face like please 
I'm like, come on, can we, can we just do they it? They just wanted to chat, like... And yeah, I usually just... Yeah, I usually got just chatted, and then, you know... Had They'd a couple be days. talking about their ex. Oh, God. That's that's another story for another time. And this is someone, like, yeah. one of my first dating experiences. Thankfully, I, I didn't find that problem. Men don't talk about their exes. Yeah. Which, which is a good thing. Yeah. Like, they Never, know how to compartmentalize. Guys, when you talk to a girl, and she's apparently on okay cupid just to make friends don't believe just stay away from that oh like they would write it in their bio yeah and then I, that, that's what this girl said on her bio so i oh, think okay. i should have just expected yeah, it yeah, you know? yeah yeah and at the same but i uh, mean at least she did say it yeah at right? least she did say it but then like she was also way too much of a downer to like really like mm. really for me to just continue continue on with the relationship you had to like break it off i had to break it off because she's just so depressing uh, and like the uh, phone calls would just be like a two-hour talk of how depressed she is uh, and i'm like i don't want to do <laughs> i think the breaker for me was that like she lost her job oh during during the dating yeah during okay. the dating and i'm just like <laughs> Oh, that's like another <laughs> depressing thing that I have to, uh, I can't deal with this I can't deal with this girl anymore <laughs> so another advice is to basically try to be more positive because yeah. of you know like from the law of attraction you have to love yourself you know? yeah. love yourself so that someone can love you right yeah like cause someone who's talking to you they can sense if you respect yourself if you think uh, if you're more of like an optimistic person who would think of oh in the future things will be positive kind of person you know even though that was a solid dating advice let's go to our dating advice section and what we have for our dating advice section is the goal should be making more biracial babies yeah yeah we, we we want everyone to be a monochromatic color in the future where everyone's the same color we don't have boundaries of race yeah and we're all just blended together mix the bloodlines that way like when you take dna tests like it'd like, be like be you're everything you're, 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 you're from everywhere in the world <laughs> But in, in all in all seriousness, what we're trying to get at is, hey, be open to like dating other races, you know. Be this, open to different cultures. Yeah, be open to different cultures. Like, um, and it comes to things like you know, like be open to trying new foods out, right? Yeah. And yeah. foods in a way for people to bond together. Mm -hmm. Be kind of like open to like a different culture, you know, different cultures, right? Yeah. And you tend to find out that yeah, you open up your dating repertoire right yeah yeah like for guys who like the numbers are in your favor if you yeah. open yourself yeah like heck like guys have a hard time get finding a girl you if you start like limiting yourself mm -hmm. to like specific race yeah you got a lot less options to work with yeah yeah you know do you think that asian men don't get women because they pursue asian women specifically i think that's another thing too yeah it's definitely another thing do they limit themselves some do you know mm -hmm. i definitely know that like a lot of asian guys just like like want to date white girls too oh okay you know that's another thing too but a lot of it does like we are kind of pressured to just date asians from your family from family members to you keep know the blood to keep bloodlines pure yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> To keep the bloodline pure. Yeah, it is. It is definitely. <clears throat> if there's all this pressure from your family to, you know, like continue the Asian legacy, mm -hmm. then it'll be like another yeah. thing for yeah. like if you're an Asian man trying to deal with all these um you know like dating how the dating structure is like against you and mm -hmm. then your family is also like okay date this asian yeah. woman there's also like also another thing too is that um while asian women will go outside an asian family and be like oh man this is so nice a non-asian woman going to an asian family oh, is yeah. going to be met with like what is this this family's nuts you know like yeah the parents are psycho yeah definitely like i guess for me like dating an asian man you have to have a lot of patience because like mm -hmm. there's a lot of points where you're like okay wh what am i putting myself in like yeah this situation is uncomfortable you know like unless you know about the 
the culture, unless you study about like the whole Confucianism and because like uh, where it they're is coming helping, from. Yeah, it's it is helping me contextualize yeah. like where my parents are coming from. At yeah, least, right. Because like I'm like okay, what are the experiences of Asian women? Mm-hmm. And then I'm like okay, this is what they're dealing with. So it'll help me be like, oh, it's not because I'm black specifically. It's just it's the fact that you're not Asian. It's the fact that I'm not Asian, and it's also the fact that I'm a woman trying、yeah. to date their son. Yeah, and sons are like on this high, you know. Yeah, stats. Man, also like if I was the firstborn son in my family,、yeah. I would not like there would be more resistance. Yeah, you wouldn't like at this point. I don't know. Maybe you、yeah. would have given up dating or something. Thing. I don't know, yeah, but like, yeah, like because like Asians marrying black guys isn't like unheard of in like the Asian community.、Mm-hmm. Like you know, like my parents have been to like weddings of like family friend, you know, you know, like family friends who like、oh, okay. they end up dating like you know, like the kind, Asian woman though. The Asian woman dating not like, not Asian man not Asian men. So I'm I'm, I'm the first one. In you're the, the first one. You're, you're the first one. Yeah. In Seattle area. I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm not really that well. But in、team. your in, in your my, extended like, family, extended family and like stuff like that, I'm the only one. Yeah. I mean, I I think the reason why I was like not super turned off. You know, with like you, you saw Ajumas in the K dramas. You're like, oh, I sh- that's what I should expect. Yeah, and also because my mom has friends who are like Asian, white. Like she, she doesn't care. She's like friends with everyone. She learns different languages, and like she's just very like open to different cultures. And I believe that's. What has made me and my brother date Asian people? <laughs> <laughs> Both of us date Asians. You guys like inherited some sort of like yellow fever in your yeah. minds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's part of our gene at this point.、Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like for a non-Asian woman to date an Asian man, it's it's a whole thing. Like, um, it's. It is challenging, but it has like its rewards. Like I believe it's nice to date Asian men because they're more family oriented. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I don't have to convince Sam to like. Oh, if we have kids, like I don't have to worry about him leaving me or like you know like making me turning me into a statistic of like. <laughs> Another single black woman <clears throat> trying to raise kids by herself. Yeah. But it is it is the responsibility of the woman to vet men, because、mm-hmm. you can't expect a man who's who has told you time and time again that he's not interested in having kids and still have kids with him,、yeah. and expect him to be responsible parent. Yeah. And to marry you, that's not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. You will be a single mother. And you know what? There's a lot of men who birth kids,、mm-hmm. but they ain't daddies. Yeah, they're、know? just sperm donors. Yeah. At that point. Find a daddy. Another benefit of dating Asian man is、um, they make a lot make of money. <laughs> they make bank. <laughs> yes. I make pretty good money, all things considered. He is. What you would call a high value man. If you Google that, you will find a lot of black men talking about that, and、uh, you'll know what it means. Yeah, you know, like it. There, there's this thing that I notice where man, I am highly sought after by ajumas and、mm. mid, like middle aged women to date. Like middle aged women want me to date their daughters or nieces. Yeah, you know, like tell it's... them the story of <laughs> I left him in a cafe, yeah, and then I... he got accosted by an ajuma. Yeah, like some ajuma like start asking me like how old I was, how like what would my religion was, what I did for work. I was like, and I like humored her for a bit. I was like, where is this going? Yeah. I think the moment I mentioned that like I'm Catholic, she kind of like turned away. Oh okay. So like you know, there's that. <clears throat> wow. But like、uh, yeah, I was like I was like that's weird, and I was thinking about like wait, is she trying to like see if I was like suitable suitable for like some relative? Yeah,、it、must have been awkward to be solicited by a random、yeah. stranger. Yeah, and then like you know, I remember like I also know how to cook too. 
Mm-hmm. And then I remember like having a cold, like you know, like a coworker who like sat next to me in the cubicle, being like, like you know, she's like, you, she's like, you cook too? I was like, man, why couldn't my daughter have married you instead? <laughs> I was like, and oh. I was like, oh, okay, for sure. Okay. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And then, like, you know, my mom. she was white, right? Yeah, she was white. Yeah. Heck, my mom was like, hey, I have a coworker who has a niece in Texas who's single. And I'm like, so? And then, like, she, and then, like, it was, it was like this weird moment where she's like, oh, I can get you her, fa- like, Facebook. Why don't you try finding her on Facebook? I was like, mom, that's weird. You know, the idea, like, you know, imagine if you're like, you're just saying, you get a friend request from a random, like, Asian guy in a different <laughs> state, right? Another guy in the Asian state is like, yeah, your aunt, like, totally gave my mom your email address, you know, or something yeah. like that. And that's creepy. Yeah. Unless she knew about you and then. Probably not, though, considering, like, like how Ajumas are. Right. They'll just do it on their own, you know? Interesting. Do you think they they're trying to like do because it is they have, tradition yeah, to do yeah it's like you know making. yeah they're they're trying to do matchmaking right but then that that doesn't really work out in American culture very well yeah you know yeah because we we want to find our soulmates or mm. quote unquote soulmates yeah by ourselves yeah um but they're they're still like people who get tired of dating mm-hmm. that want to get matched yeah like I I, I can totally see like. Where the idea of like an arranged marriage, like yeah. arranged marriages, would seem kind of nice, all yeah, things yeah. considering, since like you don't have to be the one to like do it. And you know, like modern, like I'm not, I have no idea what it's like to be in an arranged marriage. But I think like modern day arranged marriages, they would at least go on like on a couple dates to make sure that like it's all right. Mm, they they do. Yeah, like I mean, it's <laughs> you're not like forced into marrying a person. You still need to. You, like, yeah. be okay with them. Yeah, you know, you still gotta make sure that, like, who you're marrying is, like, not a psychopath and is yeah, yeah. not, like, some sort of, like, baby murderer. I mean, they do do background checks. Yeah, yeah. That's one benefit, those sites. Um, I mean, I don't want to yeah. generalize. Yeah, yeah like, exactly, I don't want to generalize. He's it. not a, like, a typical Asian man. Yeah. Like, I'm, he's... I'm pretty Americanized, all things yeah. considering, you know? Yeah, and he's he's not, like... Let's see. He he knows how to like talk to people. Yeah, I know how to talk to people. I know like like I introduced him when I introduced him to my brother, my like aunt, uncle, mother, like I wasn't like scared of awkwardness. He was pretty he's pretty nice. Yeah. It's just me I'm like I'm overall just a swell guy. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, like um So you you tell the audience the benefits of dating a black woman. A black woman? Let's see. You learn a lot about hair. <laughs> yeah. Let's natural see. hair. Natural hair. Um let's see. What you else? Can't is there? You, you can't wet the hair, you have to wrap hair. it up. <laughs> let's see. Date benefits of dating a black woman. Man, like the families are pretty nice, you know? Like bl- like mm. going into a black going dating into like a black family. It's actually pretty chill like it's pretty chill, all things considering, you know. I mean my comparison is with an <laughs> Asian <true>. family. <laughs> My concern, my comparison is with an Asian family, which uh, which is mm-hmm. the opposite of chill, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That like they a black family doesn't require a lot. Yeah, they just want you to be like to treat their daughter or niece, yeah. you know, in a nice way. Mm-hmm. But other than that, it was just like like even the the financial aspect of it, they didn't know that you were well off. But they were yeah. just like oh like. I, after um when my mom found out like when i got proposed to and stuff like that she was like oh uh she was like oh i'm glad that my daughter is <laughs> marrying well <laughs> and i'm like oh okay i got a nice ring <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, it, it was nice that we, like, from the beginning, we talked about, okay, is this a serious thing? You know, right away, we were like, okay, we're yeah. we're in a relationship, yeah. we're boyfriend, I, girlfriend. I also think that you're also atypical of a black woman as well, mm. all things considering. Like, your family, like, it's a different black than, like, what American culture, at least. Mm. You're more, your family's more African mm. than it is, like, 
of like African American, right?、Mm. I I put you guys under like the same I would like another immigrant family, you know?、Mm. Yeah,、right? it it is.、Uh, so like、yeah. things I know about Black culture,、mm-hmm. which I don't know too much. To be honest, right?、Mm-hmm. I wouldn't really associate it with you know, like with your with your family, you know,、mm. or with your. But like a lot of things that like I like, you know, I like darker skin complexions. You、mm-hmm. know, I like dreads.、Mm-hmm. You have both of those. <laughs> Okay. You know, it is that is like a very personal take. You know, that is a very personal. It is. Taste, yeah.、Know? The only thing that makes like w- if you look at me like walking down the street, you wouldn't know that I'm like half Ethiopian, half Jamaican. That、uh, I'm more African than black.、Mm-hmm. Like you'd just be like, oh, it's a black woman. Yeah. Oh man, you get. I always have. I don't have to work out. But like you know,、chill. like I feel like every I I'm Asian, you know. We're、mm-hmm. from like the most non chill. That's like the most non chill. So like、mm-hmm. everyone else in comparison is like chill in comparison, you know.、Mm-hmm. Like I, if I dated a white woman, like I'd still probably call that a white family more chill than yeah, you know, yeah. my Asian family, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> That's another thing too. Uh, that like I am also glad that I am not. I don't have to deal with a second pair of Asian parents,、mm-hmm. you know. And that is another reason why a lot of Asian women tend to date out as well, because、mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like man, you should only deal with one pair of Asian parents. You don't need two pairs of Asian parents. Yeah. And in in also in a lot of the cases too, like when I was dating out, like I would almost describe like some. Like Asian parents be, seeing me as like not good enough. I've had that happen once,、oh. where like I was. Did you meet the parents? <clears throat> yeah, I met the parents. Oh, okay. It was like one. It was actually a friend of my mom's actually, where like I actually did like try to date、oh, yeah, the girl,、uh, okay. date this girl, and like the mom didn't like me,、oh. like because I, I like I think it was like because like I wasn't a doctor or like、oh. or a lawyer or someone who made like giga lots of money. Was that the reason why you broke up? Ah,、uh, wasn't really. Or wait, were you in a relationship when you met? No, the other we、group? weren't in a relationship. We were like, I was talking, I was making, I was you know making probing feels feels. But then she would talk to her mom about me, you know. <laughs> oh gosh. So like. I mean,、yeah. it is nice when girls are close to their moms,、yeah. but not in that way. Yeah, and then like my mom, she apparently like insulted me to my mom, you know. Oh. So like. <laughs> Oh no! That that was a whole thing. Oh, was, was ended, that was、I、that think... like shaming the saving face thing? Like,、yeah. did she shame your mom, and then、yeah. your mom had to like reciprocate by shaming her more? Yeah, like my mom, like that, like ended my parent, my mom's friendship with her. Oh, okay. So I was like, dang, right? I was like, damn. Interesting. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I mean, I was like, it was fine. It's fine. It's whatever. Yeah, did that start to like turn you off from Asian women, like dating Asian women, or was it just like, oh, it's, it's whatever. It's whatever. Yeah. It's whatever. Yeah, cause like for me, I did date a、uh, half black, half white guy,、mm-hmm. and then I've also like dated、uh, white guys and other Asian guys. So like、mm-hmm. I did like. Kind of date the rainbow, yeah. Like for a short amount of time before I met you,、mm-hmm. um, and like okay, so the half black, half white guy, he hated the fact that the world looked at him as a black man,、mm, and he wanted to be white. Yeah, he wanted to be seen as a white man. Yeah, because he grew, he was raised by his white, white mother. mother. Yeah, I mean, it, it, like it is understandable, cause like yeah. Why should you be identified by the side of your parents that you have no contact、yeah. with, or maybe you don't even like your dad, or、mm. like there's some, you know. Yeah, and like compare that to like I have a、um, I have a half friend who's like、mm-hmm. half white, half black,、mm-hmm. and he totally embraces black side, but he was raised by his fa- his dad. His or, dad is black. Yeah, his dad is black. Okay. Like both both members of the and with both both parents too. But yeah, like he、um, at least the one time I went to his house, both parent I saw both parents. Oh, so, like his white mom and yeah, white black. mom, black. Okay.、Dad. So yeah, like he like totally embraced 
that side. You know, he totally embraced the black side. Were they with his parents? Were they together? Yeah, they're together. Okay, that that's that's also another thing. Like, <laughs> if they're if they had separated, then there's more identity yeah. issues mm -hmm. in the mixed kid. Yeah. Um. And uh. And then he also used to cry about how white women didn't like him. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> He would oh, actually no. like shed tears and we would talk and I'm like Why are you dating me? What's going on? Like there's it is a huge like issue. Like I was like I was looking at him like okay what's going on? Yeah. It's like why are you even dating me? And then like like twenty eight days from when we first went out, we broke up. Yeah. <laughs> You're the first person I actually dated outside of like the Asian Asian bubble. Actually, even Vietnamese too. Actually, hmm. I didn't even dated like any other Asians besides Vietnamese uh, Vietnamese people. That's actually another thing too. Like I was always I'm always a little uncomfortable with dating like another Vietnamese person because mm -hmm. like I don't speak the language very well. You know. Oh, okay. That was another reason why I was a little less comfortable. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. like my first girlfriend, like she didn't speak Vietnamese very well either. Okay. So like the joke was like, oh, we're like perfect for each other. We're perfect for each other because we're both really terrible at Vietnamese. Mm. Is it a hard language to learn? Ah, uh, in my opinion, it is. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's a lot of vowels. Like we have seven. Each vowel has like seven accents, accents. right? Accents. So like a uh, word actually has seven. You could p pronounce the same word with seven different accents, and there's seven different words. Yeah, you know, different meanings <clears throat> that might like you might try to say something. And you say something else. Yeah, it's very easy to do that. Yeah, and also when you try to speak Vietnamese, then your, your family is... makes fun of you. Yeah, like I got, I always get made fun of like when I try to speak Vietnamese. So I like actually yeah. speaking it. Yeah, I I would say like if you're trying to learn a language try and like learn it in a supportive environment yeah yeah like my sister would always give me crap every time i try to speak vietnamese mm -hmm. so i'm like yeah was, you gave up i gave up yeah the the white guy that like he was a co-worker and then he he was like let go from work we were kind of talking but then he's like the typical player like <clears throat> always really dating other women yeah yeah. And then I actually like weren't you like talk like weren't he we he talking? called me once. Yeah, like weren't we like um I think you were still talking to him like when we started dating and he just stopped talking to you the moment he found out that you were dating yeah. me. Right? So like <laughs> so what happened was okay, we I started dating Sam around my birthday and then I I had set up this trip to victoria is it yeah. victoria yeah victoria yeah. vancouver canada bc and um like i i set up this b and b for four people yeah um, four people yeah and then we and then i invited you because like i had just started dating you yeah and then when i told him that i'm bringing a guy i'm dating and then he was like oh pulled out yeah yeah and then that trip ended up being just the two of us yeah it was really funny like we had a four bedroom bnb all to ourselves yeah it was pretty man nice. i thought it was like actually pretty crazy that i actually went you know because we had just started dating you know oh yeah you know, that was really fast moving that's well, true well, was it, that, was back it on within it. like a week or two yeah it was like within like two weeks yeah yeah it was really fast it was really fast you know yeah, I mean, I did meet your parents in three weeks. Yeah, that's true too. Like we we moved, we went light speed. Yeah. Sorry, we, we were, were really, both tired. We were of enthralled. The crap. We were also very enthralled with each other. Like yeah, you know, like we we like you know when you first date someone, you have that whole like that lovers high. Yeah. You know where you're like super in love with like you're like you are chemically like. You're high. Uh, you're high chemically. Love yeah. does that. Love does that. And then that high does die down. And you're like a it old replaces, couple. Yeah, and it replaces, and, and you know, like love, it, it's like, it starts out as like a very powerful high. And then but it's up to you to like, you know. Like, yeah, keep it up. Keep it up. And then also like, you know, find, because like now I'd say like our, our love is more like, it's like a stable, it's like a stable love. You know, mm -hmm. it's not as, it's not as like peaked up. Mm -hmm. as before but yeah. it's like more stable right? yeah yeah i mean us not living together helps with yeah 
Cause like distance or yeah, we have our distance. I mean, we moved in. We moved in. We, we've moved in together, and then we've also like lived apart from each other. Yeah, you know what <clears throat> we need to contribute and yeah. Um, I would definitely like recommend house cleaning and stuff. So yeah. Is, like I, we can't do it in COVID time, but yeah. Um, I'm bad at like cleaning the house. So would you recommend that couples move in together? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Like, try both ways, you know? Try both ways. Mm. I mean, I still think, like, moving in together is still nice and part of learning who the other person is, right? Because mm. uh, the reason why I ask is because there's this... Um, it's a myth or something saying that, like... It, it. I mean, that's the case, but it is, like, you know, like, if they live in together, you learn if you're compatible with each other, too, right? I, I don't know if I would recommend moving in together. Thanks for listening, if you're still listening, all right? Subscribe uh, like to sub our YouTube channel. Yeah, like and subscribe, people. All right, see you later.